Ah, Shay. This is a story of a mother and a son having a conversation about spirituality. The mother comes from a religious background, but the son chose to use a conscious path. The mother has to find peace in his decision. Will they or will they not? Heir to my throne, I need you to come sit by mama for a while. Why are you looking at me that way? Don't look at me that way. I'm okay. I'm okay. I love you so. And this I want you to know. For nine months you received refuge in my womb. And you were with me through every happy moment. And said, I couldn't wait to see the glory of God shaped in his image. Well, right now, I need you to take me as I am. I need you to understand that sitting in a pew, wide hat, sharp dress, that rocking back and forth, back and forth, is not the way to this so-called salvation. Mm -mm. That crying and shouting never got us anywhere. Hold on, hold on. Don't look at me that way. I need you to take me as I am. Well, Mother, I understand. I understand. I just can't believe in seeing me shouting and hollering and hoping for things to change when all I see is the same thing me and you struggling. Cornbread and water with no man and no father in the house. I can't do it. All I do is fall asleep when I sit in them places. When all I understand is me and your face is the way that they are. Sad down and struggling, hungering from the body. See me for me. Can you accept me for me, mama? Can you accept me for me? I have my own direction. I can't be this way. The only time that I see things change is when you do it. Don't be mad at me for not believing in what the world want me to believe in. I want to walk my own route. I know religion is, is the way that some way that people make their way. But I chose to be spiritual, mama. This is what I want to be. But I will listen to you and respect you and not disrespect you. But this is my walk. You are my creator. This is all I know in the physical body and eyes that, that, that I, can, I can tell you. You understand me, right, Mom? If you don't, I, through time, you will. You will never know the fullness of what I'm feeling right now. I apologize for all the things you view as lies, the things I made you walk through and see with me. I did the best I could, but I gave you the gifts you have. I did that. And I intended you to use those gifts to glorify not only you, but the creator of all things. Now, I can't quote every verse of the word, but I can quote myself. That I can do. You were dedicated to be like God, his vessel, and it should be your honor. Well, I understand, Mom. That's you. That's not me. That's not me. I don't believe that. And there's no reason for you to have to apologize for anything for the way that I feel. I just don't feel it inside me. That's the walk for me. Ever since I came out the womb, you know what I remember, mama? You know what I remember? Nothing. Just you, me. I don't know nothing else. Yeah, you may not be able to say every scripture in the Bible, but most people use it for their own reasons. They make the book work for them and not even dedicating themselves to what it really means to be Christian or Baptist or whatever they want to be. I never had a choice. I can't be forced to believe something that somebody else want me to believe. The only thing, again, mama, all I ever seen was you struggle on your knees, asking for things to be fixed, just asking for things to be done. The only time they ever got done is when you went out there and you bust your ass. I'm sorry for cussing, mama, but it's just how I feel. But I'm not saying it's wrong to believe in what you believe, and it's not wrong for believing what I believe. All I believe is just peace and love. Is anything wrong with that? I just want my own walk. Is there anything wrong with that? Fool, you are me. And what do you remember? Huh? What do you remember? You and me, I think that's what you're missing. The you and me. It's always been just us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I've allowed this man to make me a version of him or something. Maybe I'm searching too. Maybe I'm searching too. 
I don't know what else to do. All I want is for you to be okay. I want us to be okay. We can't just do it our own way. Mama, calm down. Look, look, just relax. I don't want your blood pressure to run up. All I'm just saying is, look, I want us to work it out. I want us to work together and try to find a way to make this work for both of us. We go out there, we, we look into the world, we just get more knowledge. I just don't want to be so limited. This world has so much more beautiful cultures and different things that we can get into. A much natural way we can eat. A much natural way we can be. Natural hair. Better food. Stronger knowledge. A deeper spirituality that's not limited to one thing that we were both given. As a child with no control. Just accept me for me. I love you because you're my mother. We got to be there for each other regardless of I believe in a rock. It's my spiritual deity or being. As long as I'm out here piecing and loving it up and treating people right, I don't care what color they is. If they love me, I love them. We just got to be strong. I love you. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. You are still and you'll always be heir to my throne. And you come before anything and anyone you got to always know that. If I trust in me, then I should be able to trust in you. Yes, you can always come fearlessly and talk to me. Let's shelve this for now. Come on and help me cook. Let's make this ackee and codfish. Well, mom, that sounds good to me. You know, hard day. You know, fish sounds good right about now. You know, that's just, I guess, like you said, let's just shelf it. You know, I mean... As long as we got each other, we can make it through anything. You know, that's the only thing that matters. So let's do this. Let's get the plates. I'll set the table. You know, just cook. Because you know I can't cook anyway. So you know what I mean? So let's, let's do it. Let's do it. This is a monologue collaboration. Mother and son talk spiritual paths. By the writer Quan Nubian, a.k.a. Ponder Quan and Brother G.K.L.A. K.A. The Poet B.G.K.L.